I finally got my hands on a Thunderbolt 5 hub, guys. I've been waiting for this for so long. Let's get straight into the video. All right, guys, as you guys know, I've been waiting for a Thunderbolt 5 hub um, for the longest time. Cal Cal it just released, or rather, they released it some time ago, but it just became available. The And this is the Element uh, 5 hub, guys. I'm also waiting uh, for the TS5 Plus that they have. And every time I go in there, it's sold out, sold out. So you know it's in high demand. But anyway, let's get straight into the video. So what I'm going to do first, I want to do the unboxing, and then now I'm going to move out to book move over to my desk and then do the installation so you guys can see as well i want to do at least a speed test just to show you guys a comparison when you're connecting your drive directly to the the uh the, the computer versus having an attachment to the computer then doing the drive attached to the element so let's see how that goes so let's go into the unboxing first guys and let's go from there okay all right so as you can see here this uh, support it has nine ports it's 80 gigabits per second and it has a boost mode that supports you know multiple monitors that helps with 120 bits per second um i think it supports two uh 6k monitors and one 8k at 60 hertz um it comes with a 90 watt so that's where you can actually charge if you're using this with a laptop you can definitely have charging and yeah it's a small form factor so let's get into it all right so let's see what we have here All right, so we have a little pamphlet here, quick start guide. Uh, yeah, so you can see we're right there, guys. You guys can pause the video and look at that. I'll put that to the side. And let's get the hub out. Oh, really tiny. Let's put it to the side for now. Let's see what else is inside the box. Uh, let's see. All right, so you have another little pamphlet. We're just going to chuck that to the side. We're not going to use that. And here we have, let's put these in the box. Here we have your Thunderbolt 5 uh, cable. It's pretty decently nice length to it, which is pretty good. Kind of always make them so short for whatever reason. All right, so let's put this down. And you also have some really nice uh, rubber feet for, and you have two different types. You have the white and you have the gray, which is pretty good. And we have our power cable. And we have our power grip brick. All right, so that is pretty good, guys. So I love the form factor of the power brick because I'm using the OCW and it's definitely bigger than this one. All right, so let's just get into it. All right, so we have our power brick, like I mentioned before. <clears throat> now let's get into the unit. So that that all right so we have our unit here and let's just get into this let's see if we can open it nicely and let's slide it out and here we go all right guys so this is it right here this is the small hub from cal digit as you can see so let's explain what, they, what you guys are actually looking at so right here you have let us put this out the way so there's no distractions Okay, so right here, guys, you have the connection that you're going to have to your computer. Then you go to the front here right here. You have your two USB-A, and these are 10 gigabits. You have two USB-C, and also 10 gigabits. And if you turn to the back now, you now have your Thunderbolt 5. You have three of them, and you get 80 gigabits from that. And then also you have one more USB uh, type A, and this is 10 gigabits as well, which I really do like. And then you have your power right here. And that's pretty much it, guys. Nothing to it. So what I want to do now is I want to move this from here over to the uh, desktop and then we'll just go from there all right guys catch you guys in a bit all right so you guys can see right there this is my owc right here all right so this is the back of my unit now so you will see these two uh, cables right here these are for my monitor and then now you have my thunderbolt 5 um that you see in the front and now you have this now that is connected to the unit down there which is the OWC. So I'm going to be disconnecting this. But what I really want to do is I want to have the connection for my monitors to be on the Cal digit. That way I have more space in the back. 
that way I can you know use more uh, of my ports that is not available all right so I just want you guys to actually you know see that and then we'll go from there all right guys so I'm now at my desk and the one thing I really love so far about this thing here is where the connection for the uh, I'm just gonna get that for what you're gonna use to connect to your computer. I love the fact that it's right here because what this allows, is allows me to be able to flip it on one side and the other. You're gonna see now on my desk setup. So now I've connected the cable, which is a power cable to my power source down below. I haven't attached it to the bottom of my desk just yet. And then now I connected the cable, which is gonna be from the computer that goes to the Cal Digit. All right, so what I'm gonna do is first, I'm gonna just plug the power in. So the, now the power is actually plugged in. So you guys must be asking, what's the reason for changing from the OWC to the Caldigit Element 5? One of the reasons, guys, is A, of course, it's a Thunderbolt 5. Uh, the Caldigit is Thunderbolt 5. The OWC is Thunderbolt 4. So I want to future-proof myself. But not only that, is there are times when I've been using the OWC and it will lose my USB connection for whatever reason. So I've heard that uh, the Caldigit has, has a better a processor and how they design the unit you don't lose any power which i really do appreciate all right so let's go into testing so what i'm going to do is this is connected to the computer directly and i want to test and see what's the difference in the speed when i do connect it via the unit itself which is the college element 5 all right so let's, let's get into that first all right, guys, so what I want to do is do a quick speed test over here. All right, so I have this, and I'm going to just select my drive, which is connected to my computer, right, directly, just to see what the speeds are. And then now I'm just going to run a quick test. So I'm getting 7024 on that. Let's see what we get on the right. I'm getting 6162 on the, the right. Fantastic speeds, which is, which is what I expected. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to disconnect the Samsung from the computer. I'm just eject that. So now that I've ejected it, I do have a another Thunderbolt 5 cable here. All right, <clears throat> so I'm going to connect it to the Thunderbolt here, like so. Then now, I'm just going to connect this directly to the drive itself. And we are connected. Just waiting for it to pop up on the screen. All right, so now it has been connected to the computer. I'm just going to select it again once more. So now it's connected to the call digits. Let's see what the speeds are going to be like. So remember this right here. Let me just do a screen grab of that so that we have it. So we have that. Now let's do another test. So we definitely are getting slower speed, which is what I expected, because remember now, you're actually running it not directly to the unit, but as an attachment. So you're definitely going to have a little bit of drop, but the drop right here is not too bad, guys. Um, if we should compare it, so as you can see what we have there. So this over here was what we got with the direct connection to the computer, and this is it connected to the unit itself. The speed is a little bit faster on the read, but the write is way slower. So, you know, we can actually run one more and just see what happens. Let's see what we get. So we're getting even a little bit faster now. Let's see what we get on the right. And we got even closer to the right. So you see that you know, it's a little bit slower, but it's not that significant, guys. So you can see that I'm very happy with the result, what I'm seeing right here. The next thing I want to do is just a quick transfer. I'm going to start copying out the folder here. Boom. Let's start. And let's see how long it takes. All right, so it took about 58 seconds, which that is pretty slow if you're asking me. Um, that could be a numerous amount of things. You know, I do have files on this 
it's not empty. There, there are a lot of factors. So what I'll do is I'll disconnect the Samsung from the Cal digit, and then I'll connect it back to the computer directly. Let's just remove this. All right, so we have connection again. So what we're gonna do, all right, so now let's reset this. So remember 58 seconds, we got 58 seconds on that. Now we're gonna start again. This is directly connected to the computer. And one, two, three, go, and let's start. And we got one minute and 16 seconds versus 58 seconds, guys. You guys can tell for yourself. So, guys, I just really wanted to just do this real quick uh, unboxing and test for you guys. And you guys can choose for yourself whether or not this is something that you can consider getting for yourself. I know for me, I wanted something that is going to be future-proof. And this is Thunderbolt 5 versus having a Thunderbolt 4. So, I'm future-proofing myself because I do have the Mac Studio. And the Mac Studio does have Thunderbolt 5 connection on there. And it would be stupid of me, or foolish of me rather, to not want to step up to the next thing that is coming and they will be coming out with more stuff and more more drive that that is more capable towards the thunderbolt 5 guys so let me know in the comment section below guys what you guys think of this and see and tell me whether or not it's something that you will actually consider for yourself um i think it's a really good thing to have to future proof yourself but at the same time too with the thunderbolt 4 the speeds are a lot slower but if you're someone who don't need the speed you don't necessarily need to get this but if you do i would say consider getting this guys and if you guys need to purchase this there'll be a link below that will support the channel so you guys can actually use the link if you'd like um this vi this video is definitely not sponsored by there because i use my own money to purchase the cal digit all right guys so that's all i have for you two guys today and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did smash that like button guys if you guys are new to the channel subscribe for more and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace <laughs>